open your notebook. Navigator and Jupyter notebook eh. So I share my screen. Jam eh. Um. Okay. So all of you already uh, open your navigator and. Notebook, Jupiter Notebook. Yes. Alright. Yes. So, what topics today? Saya dah letak ke yang tu eh? Uh, panasnya rasa. Um, topics today is string. Is it right? String? Topic 9. Casting, casting kita dah tengok kan last week? Tu belum? Belum. Belum eh? Okay. Belum, belum, belum. Belum, belum. belum. Kasting belum eh? Okay. Macam dah belum eh? Dah kan? Dah dah hari ni. Kalau ada saya dah run ni dah. Sampai stream. Kasting dah. dah. Kasting ni nak tukar integer to float, float to uh, dah, dah. stream. Oh dengan string tadi. <laughs> dah, dah. Okay, casting. Okay, so today's is topic number nine. Python string. So buka Python string. The same pun sikit. Pasti sini ada panjang sikit. Okay. Alright. Can we start now? Yes. So yes. all of you ready yes. with your Jupyter Notebook. Topic number nine. Semua ada kan notes? Ada, ada, ada. ada. Alright. Okay. okay. So topic number nine. Python string. String literal. String literal in Python are surrounded by either single quote. Okay. Or double quotation marks. Okay. You can use single or you can use the word. It's the same. Okay, you can display a string literal with the print function. Okay, to see the output. So, <coughs> example here, you put one one uh, double code and another one is single code. So, you run it. So, you dapat juga hello. Okay. So, you can use single or double. So, assign string to a variable. So, assigning a string to a variable is done with the variable name followed by an equal sign and the string. Sama je lah macam you buat dalam integer pun eh. A equal to hello and then print A. Okay so print A. Dia akan print hello. Right. So multiple strings. Multiple line. Mat, mat, sorry multiple. Multi line strings. Okay. You add the, you add the text. Okay. A very long text. Okay, you can assign my multi-line string to a variable. You have to use three code. Okay, one, two, three. And then at the end, one, two, three code. And then print A. Okay, if you just put one code. Okay. Example. I show it here. Code kan. Example. Okay. Right, so when you run it, so you get an error. Okay, sebab dekat sini dia tak tutup eh. So for single and double, it's only for one line. So you, if you have multi-line, you need to put three. Panjang kan ni. Okay, three code. And then you print A. So, barulah dia boleh print. Dia tak ada nak error. So, this is for multi-line. Okay. So, example lah. You can use single also but also three, three single quotes. Okay, like this one. Can you follow me class? Yes. Alright, good. Okay. So, note in the result, the line break are inserted at the same position as in the code. Okay, string are array. You tahu kan, mana-mana programming pun dia are array. 
So like many other popular programming languages, strings in Python are arrays of bytes representing Unicode characters. So however, Python does not have a character data type. Kalau you guna C, you guna C, C++, Java, I think they use char, kan? Okay. A single character is simply a string with a length of 1. Okay, in Python. So square bracket can be used to access element of the string. So get the character at position 1. Remember that the, the first character has the position 0. Okay, the index is start with 0. So here, you have a hello world. So you want to print A1. A1 berapa dapat? E. E, okay. E. If you put A5. Kenapa dia error? Sebab sampai 4 je. 4 je. Ha? Sebab dia sampai 4 je. Sebab ini hello kosong Satu, dua, tiga, empat Okay, so bila lima dia dah lebih Dia lah eh, so out of range Alright, okay slicing You can return a range Of characters by using The slice syntax Okay, specify The start index and the end index Separated by a colon To return a part Of the string so, example, get the character from position 2 to position 5. Position 5 will be not included. Okay. So, here you put B equal to hello world. So, from 2 to 5. Okay. So, you run it to get LLO only. Okay. So, 0 is H, 1 is E. And 2 is L. Okay. So, number 5 tu yang tadi lah yang kosong ni. So, dia takkan, dia takkan print yang number, yang common ni lah. Dia akan print only O ni. Dia akan print sampai nombor 4. Not included number 5. Okay. So, we can also use negative indexing. So, negative indexing use negative indexes to start the slice from the end of the strings. Get Example, get the characters from position 5 to position 1. Okay, position 1. Uh, excuse me, Madam. Yeah? Uh, Madam tak share slide. Slice? Apa dia? Uh, Ma Madam tak share, share slide. Screen. Share screen. Oh, saya tak share screen eh? Allahu Akbar. Uh -huh. Awak tak nampak lah. Saya Sorry. tengok notes ni lah ramai message saya. Ya ke? Sorry, sorry. Ay, Masya Allah. Baik, baik. Tapi awak boleh tengok awak punya notes lah eh. Alright, sekejap. Hmm. Ha, ni, ni. Hmm. Okay. Tak nampak lah. Tak nampak lah. Okay. 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 You, okay, can, you, can, you can try yours, okay? Dekat komputer you masing-masing lah, eh? Okay, so negative. So, sampai slicing tadi okay tak? Faham tak? Any questions? Yes, okay. Okay, um, Madam, okay. saya okay. nak so far, so good. nak tekankan yang tadi tu. Ya, yeah, yang mana? Kenapa yang slicing tadi? Kan lima kan uh, sepatutnya koma tu kan? Uh -huh. Dia memang tak ambil koma ke? Oh dia memang ambil yang index. Yang last, yang index yang kita nak tu yang last tu kita tak ambil. So kalau kita nak buat program yang mana yang kita nak ambil hmm. yang last tu kita kena lebihkan satu lah. So kalau kita letak dua hingga enam koma tu letak koma. kan? Uh -huh. Ah, so, okay. Tengok, eh. Let's try. Next okay, one. Two six. Tu, dia ambil koma. Okay, okay. Faham. Thank you, Doktor. Okay. So, negative indexing. So, negative ni daripada N. Okay. So, example. Buat from minus 5 to minus 2. So, B, hello world. Minus 5 to minus 2. 
O R O R L. Okay. So dia tak akan print uh, kat sini you tengok satu-satu eh. 5 pos, uh, kosong minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5. 5 tu adalah W. W tu dia tak print lah. Okay. Alright. Okay. String length. Eh ni faham eh. Yang, yang minus ni takut tak faham terbalik. Dia daripada belakang lah eh. Plus. Okay. Ah. Yes. Ah, madam, madam. Bukan negatif satu tu yang ya, tadi satu tu kan? Eh kosong. Ah. Eh kosong kosong kan bukan. H ke? Sekejap, sekejap. Negatif satu. Negatif dua. D. Kita try eh. Kita try eh. Negatif satu kat sini. Dia akan ambil D. So dia ada kosong lah kat depan. Madam, Madam, cuba Madam padam yang negatif satu tu. Okey. Tukarkan jadi. Ya, just ko uh, kosong je. Biar kosong. Kosong, eh. Okey, okay, lepas tu. Uh, bukan kan? Uh, kosong tak ada apa-apa, tak ada apa-apa. Like this one. Okey, okey. Okay. Uh, negatif lima tu tukar negatif satu. Negatif lima? Tukar negatif satu. Okey. Minus one, eh. Nak tengok satu. Lepas tu uh, titik bertindih, titik bertindih. Ada, ada. Sampai mana? Ah, okay. Alright. So dia akan dapat. Ah, tu. Ah, betul lah. Dia start pada negatif satu. Tapi kalau negatif satu. So, dia so, cakap, uh, kalau negatif dua dia akan jadi di standar seru. Dia maksudnya uh, negatif satu. Oh, ya, ya. Dan dia cakap. Okay. Okay, so ni see this was minus 1. So minus 2 is D. So dia akan start dengan L. Kalau ni eh, this one eh, minus, minus 5 to minus 2. So uh, this, uh, the exclamation ni is 1. This one is 2. So then the entry eh, 3, 4, 5. So yang ni tak masuk lah. Yang, yang, yang minus 2 ni. Okay. Ini tak masuk. Macam tadi lah. Yang ni kat atas ni yang nombor 6 tak masuk kan? Yang ni yang ni. Sebab kita mula daripada belakang. Okay. Yang lain clear? Thank you. Siapa yang cakap kat saya tadi tu? Saya Mira. Irfan. Irfan. Okay. Thank you Irfan. Okay. Alright. Okay. Yang lain okay. Plus. Takut okay. confuse. Okay. 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 String length. Length. You can use len, okay? Len function. So the len function return the length of a string. So you put a equal to hello world, and then print len a. So len a ni dia akan count lah berapa panjang hello world. So example here, I put a equal to Python programming, print len a. So you run, you get 18. Okay? Uh, okay, string method. Python has set of uh, has a set of built-in method that you can use on string. Okay, example here you have strip. Okay, strip method remove any white space from the beginning or the end. Okay, dekat sini kan you ada uh, white space kan? Hello, comma, space, world kan? So you put sprint print a oh bukan sorry dia ada workspace kat belakang okey kat belakang ni okey so print a dot strip so dia akan return hello world ni tak ada tak ada space lah kat belakang ni tak nampak eh depan dengan belakang ada space okey so you run dia akan dapat terus dalam macam ni okey ini strips and then lower case ni biasalah Okay, lower method rating string lower case. So you put a hello world print a dot lower function lower. So you put example here hello capital letter and then world w. Okay, capital w. So when you run, you get all small uh, lower case. Kalau you nak besar, you guna upper. Okay, so a dot upper. 
Sayuran apa? Sayuran. Hello world. Okay. And then replace. Replace. Put a dot replace. Function replace. So example which character you want to replace. H you want to replace with J. So it becomes Jello world. Okay. And another one is split. Split. Okay method split is split the string into substring. It find instance of a separator. Example here you have hello world. Kalau you jumpa comma dia akan split. Okay so run. Hello satu string. World satu string. Okay dia split. Tadi satu string kan hello world. Dia split splitkan bila you jumpa comma. Okay. Uh, any questions? Any question class before we proceed? No. No madam. Okay so far okay eh. Sebab uh, apa ni uh, function ada banyak. Function dalam dalam Python ni ada banyak lah yang untuk sesuai untuk string will in methods ni eh. Sekejap lagi saya tunjuk. So, so sekarang kita tengok in. In or not in. To check if a certain phrase or character is present in a string you can use in or not in. Okay. Example here, check if the phrase in is present in the following text. Example, the text equal to the rain in Spain stay mainly in the plate. Okay, dia nak tengok ada tak perkataan ni? In. Word in. So, x equal to in in text. So, dia akan return apa ni x ni? True. 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 Eh, dia boolean lah yang kat sini. Okay sebab in ni ada kan. Rain, spin, main, plane. Okay. Check if the phrase in is not present in the following text. So you put x equal to in, not in text. So bila you letak macam ni not in text. Tapi ada kan. So dia akan jadi false. false. Okay. Okay, concatenate. Concatenation. To concatenate, concatenate is combined. To string, you can use uh, operator plus. Okay. Merge variable A with variable B into variable C. A, hello, B, world. C, A plus B. So, print C, so C, you will get hello, world. Okay. And then tadi you tak perlu buat ni, you, when you combine it, when you concatenate these two string, dia tak ada space kan? So you can add white space. Example, C equal to A plus put white space plus B. And then print C. So you akan dapat lah cantik sikit lah. Hello world. Right? String format. As we learn in, a, in the Python variable chapter, we cannot combine strings and number like this. Number H equal to 36. So, 36 is a integer value, kan? And text, my name is John. And I am plus H. So, you print text. Okay, so when you print text, dia akan error. Sebab apa dia error? Sebab satu ni adalah integer, satu lagi string. So, but we can combine string and number using format method. Okay. The format method takes the past argument, format them and place them in a string where the placeholder, you can letak dalam tanda curly bracket. Ah, okay. Use format method to insert number into string. Example here you have h36 which is integer. Text, my name is John and I am Kena ada curly bracket. And then print text dot format. Okay, text dot format. You nak formatkan apa? H. Okay, so when you run, you get my name is John and I am. You can get 36. So 36 ni dia dah jadi. Dia dah formatkan jadi string. Masuk dalam ni. Okay, the format method takes unlimited number of argument. And are placed into the, the respective placeholder. So you boleh letak macam ni example. 
Quantity 3, item number 567, price 49.95. My order equal to I1, you put curly bracket, pieces of item curly bracket for curly bracket dollars. So print my order dot format, quantity, item number, price. Okay, okay ini semua you nak kena format kan. So, bila you run... So, you dapat my order, I1, so dia baca the first one, quantity 3 pieces of item, item apa? 5, 6, 7, item number. For 49.95, the price, dollars. Okay, so you can use index number. Example, 0 to be sure the argument are placed in the correct placeholder. You kena start dengan 0, 0 tu is a index yang tetap pertama eh. So kat sini my order I want to pay. Pay is price. Price you put the first one 0 quantity. Number 1 item number. Price number 2. So I want to pay number 2. Dollar for quantity is 0 pieces of item 1. Item number. So quantity Kalau you letak format ni tak apalah you letak apa-apa pun. Quantity, item number, price. Tapi dia akan baca ikut index. Okay. So here you get. Mm -hmm. I want to pay 49.95 dollar. Okay. Index number 2 is price. And then 3, the quantity and the item. Kurang dal ke Oh, siapa yang nyanyi tu? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Tak madam. faham tak? Uh, madam, Madam. Madam. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yang index tu dia ikut dalam tu kan yang my order format kan? Index tu kan? Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. My order format ni dia, tu, dia tu, cuma tukarkan ni je. Tapi yang ni dia ikut sini. Apa yang you susun? Dia susun yeah, dan yeah. index tu ikut yang bawah tu kan? Dalam bracket tu kan? Uh, bukan ikut uh, uh, yang bracket ya yeah. yang, yang bukan yang bawah, yang bawah ni yang pre ni dekat pre ni dia akan baca ikut sini quantity oh, okay. item number price quantity ni dah letak dah quantity nah, nah, is zero lagi bodoh aku dia baca turutan tu, daripada aku, data tu, yang aku atas apa uh, variable lagi. yang atas Ikan tu barang sampai tu aku tak ingat apa, -apa tapi lah. dalam barang yang you, you punya apa sampai. yang you nak pre ni you kena ikut susunanlah ya, yang mana you nak dulu sampul tu Yang yang saya pun tak expected lah sebab aku beli yang Shopee Yang dalam ni kena ikut susunan so, apa yang you nak Shopee lah yang hantar so, Quantity ni you dah tahu dia kosong lah. Item number Lagi nak hati bodoh aku baru beli semalam Tiga barang lah sampai hari ni bodoh Okay Yang media tu Boleh Aku claim Plus? nanti you dapat dua ribu lebih Mungkin Boleh. aku beli lagi lah Boleh 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 okay Boleh okay Okay, escape character. What is escape character? To insert character that are illegal in a string. Ha, ada character yang illegal eh. Use escape character. An escape character is a backslash. Yang ni, tanda ni, backslash. Followed by the character you want to insert. An example of illegal character is double quote inside a string that is surrounded by double quotes. Ah, You pakai double quote dan string tapi you letak double quote lagi. Dalam you punya sentence tu. You punya string. You will get an error if you use double quote inside a string that surrounded by double quotes. Example text. We are the so-called Viking. Viking tu you buat double quote from the north. Okay yang ni dia akan error. Okay. The example here. Kita tengok kat sini. Okay. Print. So, yeah, bila, bila, bila you print this one, the error lah. Eh? Sebab dia, dia, dia error dekat Viking. Dia ada code yang code. So, to fix this problem, use escape character tu. Backslash. So, letakkan backslash macam ni. Backslash Viking from the notes. So, bila you print, you run. Okay, so we are the so-called, you boleh keluar lah tanda Code by code and code by king from the notes. Okay, ini nama dia escape character. So ada escape character used in Python. You can use single quote, backslash, okay, double, okay, new line, okay, backslash r, carry return, tab, backspace, 
form fit, okay, octal value and hexagon value. Okay, this is other example of escape character. Okay, string method. Okay, you tengok kat sini, string method ni ada banyak kan? Banyak ni. Python has a set of built-in method that you can use on a string. Okay, all string method returns new value. Do not change either original string. Okay, kalau nak capitalize. Capitalize kat sini, convert the first character to uppercase. Okay, case full, convert string into lowercase. Center, return a center string. Okay, you boleh try all of this method. Okay, letter. Saya tak tunjuk lah satu-satu banyak sangat ni eh. So, letter bila you nak buat program, you boleh refer to this method. Mana-mana yang sesuai in your program. Apa yang you nak. Right. So, any questions? So far, so good. Yeah, very good. Okay. So, Python string, settle. So, kat sini how use len, len, len for len. Okay. Print the length of the string. So, you put len x and then you run, you get 11 for hello world. Ini simple exercise je nak bagi you faham. Okay, so far okay. So, can we continue to the next topic? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, boolean. Bo panas lah awak kat rumah awak panas tak? Macam nak hujan? Gelap mendung. Uh, ada hari panas ada yeah. hari sejuk ada. Ada hari sejuk. Adam, kipas saya rosak <laughs> minum. <laughs> hari nak hujan kot. Saya sepanas oh, betul ni. <laughs> Tapi gelap. Kat rumah awak kat, tak, tak hujan ke? Hujan, hujan. Kat rumah tu hujan. hujan. Tapi dia, dia, dia uh. Tapi dia tak lebat. Lebat mana lebat? Lebat eh? Hujan dia. Dia tak hujan. Tak hujan. Kawasan mana yang lebat tu? Subang. Kawasan mana? Jaya. Subang. Oh okey tak sampai lagi sini. Rumah saya. Kelang. <laughs> okey. So panas rasa berpeluh-peluh ni ada awak ni. Macam susah sangat Python ni ha. Berpeluh-peluh ha. <laughs> okey. Topik nombor 10. Python boolean. Cuba buka eh. So dapat buka dah. Okay. Dapat ni ada. Alright. Okay. So boolean represent you tahu kan boolean true or false sahaja. Only true or false. So boolean value in programming you often needs to know if an expression is true or false. Baru you guna boolean. So you can evaluate any expression in Python and get one of two answer. True or false. So, when you compare two value, the expression is evaluated and Python return the boolean answer. Example here, you bought comparison eh. 10 is greater than 9, 10 equal than 9 and 10 less than 9. Okay, so you boleh tahu lah which one dia akan print apa. So, the first one is true, the second one false, the third one is false. Ini boolean. So, when you run a condition in an if statement, Python return true or false. Okay, example here. Print a message based on whether the condition is true or false. So, example here. A equal to 200, B equal to 33. Print, okay, if A, if, if B greater than A, then print B is greater than A. Else, print B is not greater than A. Okay. So, B is greater than A. B is not greater than A. So, you run. Sudah akan dapat. B is not greater than A. Okay. Sebab B, 33 and A is 200. Okay. Boolean biasanya kita guna macam ni lah. So, evaluate values and variable. The bool. Okay. Bool ni boolean. Bool function allow you to evaluate any value and give you true or false in return. Example, evaluate string and a number. Boolean hello, boolean 15. Beritahu true-true tak ada apa kan? By default true. By default boolean true. Okay, evaluate two variable, two variable. X hello, Y 15. Okay, so boolean true true by default is true so most value are true 
almost any value is evaluated to true if it has some sort of content. Okay. Any string is true except empty string. Empty string is false. Okay. Any number is true except zero. Any list, tuple, set and dictionary are true except empty one. Okay. The following we return true. Example. Bool, bool ABC, bool 1, 2, 3, bool apple, cherry, banana. Okay, ini list. Okay, so you ada bool. Okay, I letak zero juga eh. Kenapa dia print false? Uh, sebab zero false. I zero false the one bond to me. So true lah yang semua-semua ni yang last kali tu is kalau kita buat zero dia jadi kalau kita buat empty string I true. False. Eh, tadi tu ada space dia ada, ada ada value eh. Kalau ada space tu ada value eh. Kalau macam ni tak ada. False. Okay. Alright. Okay, okay. Okay, some value are false. Ah, ni tadi tu yang kita kena itu. In fact, there are not many value ah uh, that evaluate to false except empty value. Macam ni eh, tanda ni, ni semua ni. Uh, round bracket, square bracket, curly bracket, okay, and then code number zero. And the value none. Okay. And of course, the value is false, evaluate to false. Ini semua akan dapat false lah. Okay. You run. One more value or object in this case evaluate to false and that is if you have an object that is made from a class with a land function that return zero or false. Okay, example here. Class my class def land self return zero. So my object equal to my class. Print bool my object. So yang ni saya akan bagi tahu dia akan return false. Okay. Land ni. Ni ni function ni. Alright. So function can return a boolean. You can create function that return a boolean value. So that my function return true. Print my function. Okay. So you run. This one will be true written through. Okay. So you can execute code based on the boolean answer of a function. So print yes if the function written through. Otherwise print no. So def my function. So written through. That if my function print yes. Else print no. So kat sini dia akan print yes. Lah, sebab uh, my function is written through. So Python only also has a many built-in function that return a boolean value like the is instance function which can be used to determine if an object is of a certain data type. Okay. So check if an object is an integer or not. This one. X is equal to 200. So ni kita dah tahu dah. X ni memang integer kan. Print is instant x comma integer so this one oh ni yeah. so you run you dapat true lah memang kita tahu this one is integer okay and then the statement below would print a boolean value which one apa dia akan print kat sini true lah kan okay alright any questions for boolean? That's all for boolean. No, madam. Eh, boolean. Ada. All right. Okay, so next, next, next topic. Apa? Operator. Okay. Satu operator. Lagi. Oh, yeah, operator senang je. Operator. All right. Okay, Python operators. Operators are used to perform operation on variable and value 
Python divide the operators in the following groups. Okay. Arithmetic, assignment, comparison, logical, identity, membership, bitwise operators. So Python's arithmetic operators, okay, operators are used with numeric value to perform common mathematical operation. Biasalah yang biasa yang buat addition, plus, minus, subtraction, and then multiplication, and then division, modulus, okay, exponentation, and then floor division. Okay, assignment, assignment ni digunakan tanda equal, but, okay, equal, plus equal, minus equal, okay, and then multiply equal, Macam mula lah. So, ini assignment. Comparison. Comparison. You akan compare to value. Equal not equal greater less than greater or equal to less than or equal. Okay. And then Python logical. Logical operator and or and not. Okay. This one akan return boolean value. Okay, identity operator. Identity is, is written through if both variable are the same object. Is not written through if both variable are not the same object. Okay, ini identity. Membership, you gunakan in, not in. Macam tadi tu yang kita buat in tadi tu eh. Membership in. Written through if a sequence with specified value is present in the object. And written through if sequence with a specified value is not present in the object. Okay. And bitwise operator used to compare binary number. Okay. And or x or not. Zero, fill, left shift, sign, right shift. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Ini how multi Multiply 10 with 5. Sebab tanda multiply je lah eh. Print. Print 10 you multiply with 5. Okay. Run. Dapat 50. Okay. Ini adalah operators. Operators ni nanti later bila you buat application you gunalah this one. Alright. Any questions? Tak ada. Tak ada eh. Boring eh. Boring tak? No. Boring kena buat exercise sikit lah. Tak juga. Tak juga eh. Ceria, ceria. Okay. Tak ada lagi tak? Kita tengok. Next title. Next next list. List ni saya nak buat mute. Ah okay. Saya kena cukup kot hari ni. Sampai operators je. Next next class we continue with list. Tak apa. Set dictionary. Cepat sangat. Ayy. Kau ada 20 topik. Nak belajar 7 minggu ni bawah minggu kedua. <laughs> Laju sangat. Tak boleh. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, any questions? Tak ada. Tak ada. Okay. So. so yuk pula. Stop sharing. Uh, next class. So how about next class? You nak buat hari apa ni? Uh, Cuma yes, pagi yes. boleh madam. Hmm. Oh, pagi boleh dah dah, dah settle dah. Nanti bila awak? Setakat ni dia tengah dalam proses. Dia ah, dalam proses. macam macam ni eh. Confirm. Dalam... Kita buat kamis tu saya buat saya buat kelas kejap je macam ni lah lebih kurang. 40 minit tak sampai sejam. Awak prefer mana? Awak prefer Jumaat pagi. Tapi saya takut jadual awak lah. Okay. Kalau yang koko tu ada member katanya dah dah, dah tukar jadual. Tukar jadual macam mana? Yang koko dia dah tukar Empat. jadi malam. Oh cukup jadi malam. Tu seorang je kot. Siapa yang koko jadi malam tu? Yang lain-lain yang koko siang tu? Ada juga koko yang dah pada time lain <laughs> pergi ke time tu. So dia macam... Ya ke dah. Tu tu buat apa? Time koko buat apa? Lim, uh, pukul lima sampai tujuh. 5 sampai 7. Cuba kalau awak buat kelas kerja 4, 4 sebelum pukul 5 saya stop tak boleh. Hari Kamil. Tapi eh eh dah okey dah ahad pagi tu sebab 
Jadi uh, so yes itu dah buat kelas hari ni So Jumaat tu free untuk kita orang Macam So dia lah. okey hari Jumaat ni? Ha uh, Jumaat ni dah boleh Okey B, B? B memang masa eh B, B memang tak ada masalah sebab B Berapa yang sepuluh tu memang dengan doktor Oh B memang you punya slot lah Okay hmm. very good Okay so settle lah Hmm. Kita buat Jumaat lah eh. Jumaat pagi tu pukul berapa eh? 8.10. 8.10. Saya suka ke pagi daripada kena petang. Petang ni ngantuk. Saya pun ngantuk. Tapi kena raja awak tadi tak ngantuk lah. Okey kita continue ni. Uh, apa? Introduction awak ni. Sesi, sesi apa dengan awak ni. Okey sekejap saya stop recording sekejap. Ni stop. Okey hari tu sampai mana? Sampai nama siapa? Last week saya doktor. Apa tu? Last week saya. Mai Sara? Ah uh ah. -uh. Sampai awak? Sempat sampai awak? Tak ada. Ada eh? Mai Sara daripada mana? Saya dari, dari Gelapata, Johor. Oh Johor. Eh tengok muka sikit. <laughs> uh, sekarang hujan lebat gelap. <laughs> Kenapa? Tak okey lah. Ada ada impact sebenarnya lain ni dengan hujan eh? Uh, oh ni uh, macam astro pula eh? lighting tak cantik ada. Nanti tak lawak jadi tak lawak. <laughs> oh lighting tak lawak. Tak esak lah. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Nanti kena hantar gambar kat saya. Marina? <laughs> Marina ada dua? Marina? Gambar tak ada? Uh, kejap, kejap. Ah, Marina dia mana? Uh, saya baru sampai college. Oh, balik college? Haa. Uh -uh. Kenapa? Mm. <laughs> saya rasa duduk college lagi okey sikit kot. Awak, awak, awak uh, dekat mana duduk rumah? Haa, uh, saya... Tak dengar lah Marina. Hmm. Dengar tak? Dengar. Kolis tak okey ke sebenarnya? Lain dia? Uh, ah, nah. Tak nampak muka awak nampak sebab kereta separuh je mata. Apa ni? dia? Nampak muka awak separuh eh? Dia betul-betulkan sikit kamera tu. Comel-comel sikit. Ah, comel ha. Cepat kali stick lah ha. Cepat. Okey. Awak duduk kolis mana? Ah, uh, Melati. Boleh pula dapat kolis eh? Hmm, dapat. Dia memang boleh kan eh? balik 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 ke ke college ya? Eh? Dia kena tulis hmm. surat kan dia. Hantar kat fakulti, fakulti apply apa oh, ni dulu. Tulis, oh tulis surat tu tulis surat bagi tahu apa eh? PC uh, Google Form. Oh okay. Memang ada lah uh, HCP buat instruction macam tu lah. Ramai lah kawan-kawan nak balik balik kampus ni. Balik ke ke college. Hmm, boleh tak? Makan okay. Tak makan lagi. Tak ada ada buat makan semua? Hmm ada. Ada lah okey tak ada kalau ada makan semua okey. Okey dah Alhamdulillah lah. Awak, awak ada kawan-kawan yang lain tak sama kelas dengan awak ni? Marina? Ada. Ada? Haa oh, okey. Dulu kolej Melati juga? Haa. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Alright okey thank you Marina. Sekarang awak oh, okey lah kat kolej tu. Kalau apa-apa nanti bagi tahu saya dekat je. Nak cari awak boleh. Okey Azrul, Muhammad Azrul. Dah macam saya tak. Oh dah? Oh, awak ke mana duduk ni? Rembau, rembau. Rembau? Ya ke dah? Tengok muka sikit. Alamak. <laughs> saya tak ingat sebenarnya. <laughs> ha, awak ni 60 orang macam mana saya nak ingat. Awak 60 orang, kelas ada satu 90. Mana-mana yang tu bila saya ingat. Rembau ya awak eh? Awak kan rembau lah ni? Uh -huh, saya rembau. Awak memang dekat rembau lah sekarang ni? Uh, sekarang saya dekat KL sebab bapak saya kerja. Oh, awak, eh boleh pula awak ikut-ikut ni? Anak polis yang minta. Anak rasa. polis? Tu polis, tahan saya polis macam itu ke? Haa. Double standard, double standard. Tak boleh kan? Haa. 
Awak berapa orang pergi KL ni? Azrul. Ah, saya dengan family saya lah, Medium. Satu family pergi? Mak dengan ayah awak polis ke? Eh tak, bapak saya je. Itu satu family berapa orang? Saya ada lima okay. orang. Awak ni pergi KL ni uh, bercuti ke apa? Eh tak cuti, bapak saya kerja, kerja tapi uh, dah duduk Dia memang kerja orang. kat KL lah? Dia memang kerja kat ha. KL lah? Hmm. Oh dia kerja kat KL. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Alright, okay. Awak jaga diri lah. Ay ayah awak pun tak dapat vaksin kot. Haa. Ah, nak khabar berita je. Haa, ah, awak, awak tak tahu eh? Ayah awak tak tahu. Mesti kan semua, semua front line ni dapat vaksin ah. kan? Ada tempat yang dah dapat dah. Tapi tempat bapak eh. saya kerja ni tak ada, tak ada apa-apa khabar lagi. Jauh rembang. <laughs> dia dekat, dia, dia dekat balai polis mana? Oh, saya bapak saya pula pul. Oh pula pun kat KL lah. Oh. Eh KL patutnya tak dapat lah kan? KL? Haa uh, itulah saya cakap tadi ada certain tempat yang dah dapat tapi pula pun tak ada apa-apa berita ni. Sebab dia dia ni kot dia bukan yang yang penting lah kan? Dia cuma hmm. dia, dia training lah macam tu kan? Haa uh, dia training je. Okay okay Azrul. Thank you. Okay. Hafiq. Muhammad Hafiq. Eh ada ke tak ada? Muhammad Hafiq? Ada, ada, ada. Ada, ada. Ha, kena nyawak lah. Saya panggil. Sorry, attendance sorry. in future. Yes, attendance in future. Thank you very much for reminding. Hafiq pun kat kamera sikit. Ha, kejap, Madam. Ya. Yeah. Asal. <laughs> tak pakai baju. <laughs> Mana? Best kan orang laki boleh buka baju kan? <laughs> Hafiz kat mana? Macam kat kolej je? Ah, tak, saya kat rumah sewa. Rumah sewa. Awak kat puncak tujuh kat ke? Awak kelah awak yang puncak tujuh tu kan? Kan ke? Dah tak, langsung tak okey dah. Kamera dia dah turut keluar ni. Hafiz? Hafiz? Hilang dah Hafiz. Allah, komputer dia terus jam. Muammar, Muammar Ashraf. Nanti dia sama Afiq. Muammar Ashraf. Saya, saya. Haa, ah, saya, saya bukalah kamera. Haa, sekejap. Ah. Muammar Ashraf kat mana clear suara? Haa. Ah. Rumah kat mana? Haa, ah, Rawak. Rawak. Ni pun sama. Ah. Lain saya tak okey ke lain awak yang tak okey eh? Saya kot. Ya, yeah. awak awak tadi kelas masa saya bagi lecture tadi ya, awak ya. Oh, okay. suara awak very okay, clear. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, hmm. Awak dapat clear tak masa saya saya bagi lecture tadi ada macam lag ke apa semua ada tak? Ada. Ah, okay lah, maksudnya semua lah dia punya connection online tu. Okay, okay. okay. Hafiq ha. tadi kok Hafiq masih tak okay ni. Okay, mau amal dekat Rawang ya. Eh? Ha. Okay. Alright. Okay and then uh, Amirul Hafizi. Tutup awak punya tu. Nanti awak tak okay. Amirul Hafizi. Amirul banyak ni Amirul. Amirul Hafizi. Amirul Zakuan. Amirul je. Eh, tak ada Muhammad pun banyak. Amirul Hafizi ada tak? Ya. Hello. Ya. Amirul Hafizi. Boleh tak? Kat kamera san. Okay sekejap. Okay. Awak oh, kat mana ni? Saya kat rumah sewa. Rumah sewa kat mana? Dekat Ucap Tunjuk. Eh sama dengan kawan awak tu saya dah, dah, dah lapakan awak? Haa. Uh awak -uh. <laughs> tu cakap. <laughs> asal mana eh? Saya tanya ha? saya, saya lupa. Awak asal mana eh? Saya asal gombak. Saya duduk kat gombak. <laughs> oh okay. Tapi ni awak duduk kat Ucap Tunjuk lah. So okay eh lain? Haa uh -uh, okay. Okay Alhamdulillah. Amirul Zakwan. Amirul lagi. <coughs> okay, cap, cap, cap. Mana Amirul Zakwan? <laughs> Dah eh? Macap. Ada, ada, ada. Kejap. Ada, okay. Okay. Amirul Nampak. Zakwan. Ah, awak kat mana? Nama awak tak okay. Freeze dah. Uh, sekarang kat Klateh. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Line Kelan- okay ni. Line okay tak ni? Kat Kelantan. Line okay tak? Ha? Tak okay je line awak. Okay, <laughs> tapi depend on cuaca tu lah. Hujan kat mana? Hujan ke tak? Alu? Ah, uh, on the way hujan. Ah! <laughs> hujan pun boleh on the way eh? <laughs> dah gelap oh, dah gelap oh. Gelap tak tahu lagi. Eh. Adakah dia hujan ke tidak, kita tak tahu kan? Ah. <laughs> Awak kat Kelantan ni, kat area mana? Ah, uh, area bandar, kota baru. Kota baru, okey. 